Barrage, and maybe it won't go that way this in this game. I feel like if I was like, it's kind of BM, but if, if I was Jack Twenty, could be like, all right, where's Luhar playing? All right, let's just rush <laughs> that side. Uh, well, I'm actually very curious what the layout here layout is here for uh, VCU, and it'll hold down control. Looks like Luhar is playing middle this time for the pistol round. It's actually going to be four players towards B main. And all by himself is Chaz. Does have armor, but can only do so much with the USB. Oh god, needs to be close angle too. Oh, oh where? Where? Oh my god, with the USB here. Oh, he just chimed this in and he just picked them off. And he finds two kills. The bomb's going to be spotted and they're going to rush into the site. Blur's going to be first onto this rotate. But Luhar did go down for free towards middle. The deagle buy by aware. Yeah, when you have the confidence, you go for that deagle buy. But regardless, 3v3 situation. CG's have a kit and Blur taking down aware as the retake's gonna come in and failing. He's gonna <gasps> find all three from the site position. And that's a big round. And, you know, 16 14. You know? <laughs> it's like, this is the start know. of it. Where I've seen a similar situation like that, but it was like a bunch of like minions, like the movie minions, like getting <laughs> close together, like, oh yeah. god, where do we go? Where do we go? And then they just got picked off. And I don't know, I, I guess they that that first player was trying to just get on t into headshot and get on top, I guess, but he got instantly headshotted and followed by the rest of the other two, and now. It's, uh, you are somewhat predicting this. Jack's money could they win their first pistol in the series? Mm -hmm. Like I said, I think if they can win this pistol, they'll get really good economy because I think their, their gun rounds have been more promising. So, looks like VCU, see just, he wants to peek towards B main here, but Blooper holding really far back. And that's just a... Oh my god, Schubert almost gave that up. <laughs> he got dinked down to 19. Looks like middle control here by the terrace here. Jack's money crew definitely looks like they they know what they're doing on cash <gasps> much more. But oh my god, AK the virus with that deagle. The deagles have been so deadly this series. Yeah, seriously, I I love to see it too. And now the bomb towards V main, and they're trying to execute through, trying to push on the Mac 10. Schubert's gonna pick up one. He's got 19, mind you. He didn't make the first contact. They had the control, but oh my god, C just goes down instantaneously. Blur now with the deagle has to deal with four of these guys. Oh my god, that was so close! Yeah, blur two flashes, a deagle, and armor. It might be worth saving this because it's probably not very likely he's gonna clutch this unless they all want to peek him. But he's got a flank to worry about from Z. Yeah, I would probably just save this, maybe use these two fl two flashes for the next round. Do some kind of pop flash play, but it doesn't look like, like it'll happen. Schubertin farming on this Mac 10 getting that extra money. It's just going to be a full eco here. Yeah, so, good start for Sonny Binghamton. And uh, like, like you said... <laughs> Like they need to win the pistol, and now it's working out. They've got AKs, they got Khalil, they got Phalanx on the Mac 10. Should be a fast play. Oh my god, the stack on stack on stack! Oh, this is gonna be big. Phalanx coming in, he's gonna get shot at by five USPs. But Blooper getting dinked down. But Shiburton neutralizing the situation. But AK the virus able to find another one. And not bad. That could have went a lot worse. Yeah, Blooper. Insta got dinked, he's like, yep, I'm just gonna run back. <laughs> and then the rest of his teammates started to to find the kills with the rifles. And now this is the uh kind of decider. If Jack's buddy could win this this rifle round and then the following, um I feel like it'll be obviously looking strong. I feel like they'll have like a uh 9-0 scoreline. I wanna say that. Maybe that's too that's too nice. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be a fast middle here as AK the virus is going to take down two and the trade's working out, making a 3v3 situation. I feel like uh, in the series so far, it's like there's a lot of good trading. Like it's almost always 3v3 situations that it comes down to. Yeah, and that's what makes this game so damn exciting. The quick trades followed by the dwindled numbers on both sides. 
so far. Two players on Jack's money crew. About half or less HP. Any noise, noise they make here. Aluhar all by himself towards B site. Yeah, they still have a lot of grenades here, so... They can pretty much isolate the Heaven and CT area if they can, but they're not going to. Failing is taking down Luhar though, making this a 2v2 situation. The Molotov is going to get tossed in. And, ooh, that's going to push him off the angle so the bomb could actually cross. Really good team play there. As this could be a little bit tough for VCU. They don't really have any grenades, no kit either. And I think they want to do the boost. Yes, they are. They saw this on Reddit. And if Artinho is <laughs> not careful, he might give his life away here. Oh, my God. Dropping the flash and Artinho gonna take him down though. And ooh, Blur gonna take down Phalanx. Peeking over a little bit too much, but Artinho sealing the round, making it four to nothing, and it's a really, really good start by Jack's money crew so far. I was really hoping Phalanx would need up uh you know Evan up there like as well. <laughs> they both would just blew up. <laughs> that that first thing did so much damage to them. That essentially probably won them the round. Yeah. But really good discipline by Artinio not to peek heaven there because yeah. they had that boost going on and if he gave his life away, then VC probably would have won that retake. But regardless, looks like he's gonna be a straight A play here. Blur gonna hear a whole stampede with the CZ. Just gonna get taken down by Artinio though. And a relatively straightforward round here. Oh Are you saying I can use the Deagle as well? Yeah, this uh, quick, easy kills. 5-0! Now the other gun round. Now this is what I'm saying, like, if VCU can't capitalize this round, it's gonna be a pause. And then, I don't know, like, you've gone off with Sieges. I'm really curious what these guys are gonna do here by VCU. Yeah, Sieges looks like he's gonna bring his off towards B here, though. And a 1-2-2 two, two setup. Two towards middle, one towards A, two towards B, and it looks like it's just gonna be a straight A rush once again. They're gonna be testing Blur. Shaz actually finds a kill towards middle, and Blur, he's gonna spot their entire team, and he just needs to hold at this point. Oh my god, they have sight control and blooper. He finds the pixel that was Chaz's head. Artinio comes in, finds a close play. That's gonna be Blur to go down, and Virus needs to find some quick kills here. Now, Luhar has got some nades, followed by. Incinderary here by Virus, but the smoke does deplete. They're actually fighting these angles off. He needs to use these nades. Luhar, what is going on? And the TK comes through. It does equalize out, but this is still really tough here for VCU. Yeah, they're gonna smoke off A main though, and Phalanx able to find that kill on the Sieges. And they're just dropping like flies. Oh my as God. It's gonna be six to nothing for Jack's money crew. And like I said, these guys look like they're much more familiar with cash. And you There's called the it. Out. They called yeah, like, the timeout. <laughs> like, cause, like, it's like not the CS we're seeing the other map, right? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like interesting how uh, Jack's Money Crew. We, I've actually seen when they played their first series against. Um, oh my God, who did they play against? Ryerson. Ryerson, and no, it was the one after that. Sorry, they um, they, they weren't as structured. They just kind of ran out. And that's what we're kind of seeing in Virginia Commonwealth, which is, I guess, arguably a more structured team than Sonny Binghamton. Uh, it's kind of scary. And oh, I, yeah. I, if, I, if I see 09, then okay. Maybe uh, I'll go buy a lottery ticket or something. <laughs> well, the thing is, as well, it's T-side cash too, right? Yeah. And if you got the right players for T-side cash, you can obviously convert a lot of rounds, but... Oh my god, two players dinked here, and this stack might have worked out as they're gonna fly right out of vent here and shoot Burton. Oh what no! Around. The pause! What around. The empowering pause, the, the, the eco that happens. Oh my god. I've experienced this watching my boys play Saints Gaming, and then I'm like, okay, like we're obviously like 6 0, blah blah. And my IGL is like, oh, let's just fast out here. And then we run to a stack. I was like, hmm, 
<laughs> why do we why do we go fast? What's the point of doing that? Oh, we'll just watch for some kind of aggressive play and like play it safe. Yeah. But now we're back to a gun round. It's equalized out in equipment. Can VCU, you know, find the next round or be reset? Wicked of a virus, one HP. The HP is not looking so good for VCU, even though oh, a kill oh, hasn't even happened yet, but there it is. And okay, the virus still with one HP, though, so it's gonna be tough here. He's playing the forklift angle, not a bad ch choice considering he has one HP. He's gonna try to play that headshot angle. And it's gonna be a flash towards middle here. Shaz, ooh, gonna get smoked out Z though. And Jack's money crew taking middle control really, really good here. As it looks like it's likely gonna be an A split. Now they slowed down. I like it. But Jack's money crew. But I'm, I'm sure they're oh. aware of virus being low. That's why they're taking A. But oh, look at this. Close a player. Look at this. Luhar has already pushed B. They they know oh. that they're A at this point. Oh god. Oh no. Blue Three are. players ready for this A site. Molotov's green on in. Schubert getting shot no! by the actually, oh, No way! It's just down to Chaz now in a 1v5. He can actually do this. Look at how lonely are. He's gonna actually find just one. As Phalanx, who had 52 HP, who originally got hurt towards Squeaky, but if Phalanx oh. wasn't there, that would have been totally different, in my opinion. If you're spraying oh and it's just like peeking right, I feel like instantaneous kills. Those, like three of them had less than yeah, twenty yeah. or less than fifteen. Oh my god! AK the virus with an op in his hand, followed by the rest of his teammates with upgraded pistols. This is I just can't. Stressful. I just can't believe Lou Hard didn't get a single kill there yeah. from from that flank position. Uh, I think it's like you said, mom spaghetti. Blue <laughs> <laughs> hard man, cut off the carbs, dude. But this op here, virus towards interesting towards squeaky. Honestly, doors open. I wouldn't even go near that thing if I was a T player. But a very respectful hold here by Jack's money crew. Just. Assuming the eco, which they are kind of reading right, but I don't think they realize that virus is not. Yeah, I I don't know. I think they should kind of expect that they might have more equipment than they think, just because that one round they won was actually an eco, right? So it mm. wouldn't be surprising to, that they might have like a hero up. But it looks like they're going towards the right site, the site with the pistols. As Phalanx is going to find Luhar, oh. going to find a second as well. And Phalanx, he's stepping up this game. Yeah, gave his teammate a nice tap on the back of the head, but virus now close towards tree. Oh god. I don't see him surviving for some reason. Yeah. I he hasn't shot he hasn't fired his op yet, so if they don't know he has an op, they they're probably not gonna chase him because they might just think that he has a pistol and there's no reason to kinda just give him a gun. I think if they knew that he had an op, they would chase him. But I don't think they realize that. And this could actually be really dangerous in the next round because they don't realize he has an AWP, right? Mm -hmm. So the question is do they actually read that the reason why he's saved is because he has an AWP or is it because he has something else, right? So it's going to be really interesting to see what VCU kind of do here with this. With All right, this 50 50 chance. Yeah. Where does the AWP go? And where does Jack's money crew go? I think Jack's money crew, they just hold like they did the last round, aka the virus, so I think he should actually try to get aggressive. I don't think he should wait for them to come to him. I think he should just take, he take should the fight to them. I think he should go for a shot yeah. and then just completely like F off, mm -hmm. go the other yeah, direction. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> He's supposed to the smoke. <laughs> a nice dink is received. And, uh,. He's like, yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm not gonna bother with B main. What, what are we doing? And that's what's happening right now. It's a default setup. You got two players, a Schubert and Phalanx, actually towards A main and Blur. Just bought them both out. Yeah, the rotate from B is coming in though. As yes, they've already pushed B main, aka the virus. So also flash gonna flash in front of front red here. As he might be able to find a kill. And at this point, 
Just save the op. Oh, oh my god, he's actually going for it here. As this is oh. possibly doable. As C just finds a kill middle, so it's a 2v2 situation. There's no kit though, so almost no utility. It's gonna be honestly down to AK the virus trying to find these kills here. Cool, but Blooper has 33 though. They lance, great timing, here's the stampede, and they both peek out, 2v1 misses oh. the no scope, which is so risky in that situation, I, I, I get it, mm. and, but 9-1, that was close, that was close. That was close, yeah. You know, maybe uh, there might have been some doubt about going for that round or not, but, you know, I think it was worth going for it just because of what happened in the round. They were getting too aggressive on him, truck, he found the kills, and then... C so just found the kill middle and they they tried to go for it, right? It could have went either way. After but. this round, I'm gonna ask you, like, why is this scoreline happening? And, uh, yeah. I didn't expect this. I was actually messing around. But, looking <laughs> like five players towards the B stack. Actually, a stack into B, oh. sorry. We're able to find one kill. Chaz is gonna pick up one kill before he gets taken down to 5 HP. And then, oh my god, it gave up virus. He's so good with timing. He actually likes Phalanx down to 33 HP, but... Was that a... HE grenade that Aware was given? Actually, not Aware. Sorry, uh... Blur was given? No, it wasn't. Uh, I'm not sure, but... Either way, they're coming into the site. Now it's down to 1v1. Blur versus Aware, and I don't think Blur realizes he's creeping the smoke behind him. Oh my god, once again! Oh they're back to god. back! How does this always happen? Because they're both so forward teams, I guess. In exchange. <laughs> Okay, there's literally no way Blur expects him to headshot. Actually, no, he does. He sees him. He's gonna go for the kill. He finds him. And does he have time? No, he no. doesn't. My god. BCU, that's gonna be a heartbreak, man. 110 for Sonny Binghamton. This is their map pick, right? Yeah. And, uh, like I said, I guess, like, what we talked about for the first map, I was like, maybe it's a similar situation, but this time for Jack's money crew. And we're yeah, seeing Yeah, well, that. the thing is, the thing is, though, these rounds have been much more convincing for Jack's money crew than yeah, that's the, the BCU thing ones, too. right? Much more convincing. You start to wonder, how did BCU win the first map, I guess, but in, the, oh. in a way, AK the virus now stepping up big, he's going to find two kills as Blur with the op. He's going to pick it up towards A main, and they actually put the op in the right spot. An aggressive aiming play is, is very common, but it's it's effective. Look, Aware picks up a kill on the Chaz. They're going to try and deal deal with this man. Yeah, he starts this off and actually, ooh, AK the virus. Trying to get aggressive. And Aware, he's just going to try to leave the situation, but Blur taking him down to Phalanx. 18 and 5 so far. If there's a man that can do it, it's probably him at this point. He's really feeling it. He has a smoke though, so he can actually get the bomb at this point. And, ooh, two VCU push through this. Oh my god, if he sprayed into that corner. <laughs> oh my god. He's actually going to go into the van. Oh, he's actually trying to bait a reaction now. I like this. I really, really like what he's doing here. And oh, surely they heard him jump down nice. towards the, off yeah. the hut and they spotted him. He still has 40 seconds here. He can still try to look for a kill. That's all I would do in this in this situation. But he's he just gonna get the ball down. Up. Yeah. Oh. Man, he's just gonna get ticked. Ooh. He got virus, man. Like <laughs> that guy's insane. Instantly killing people wherever he goes. And uh, I I see what you mean by virus's experience. And you said he was in Maine. He played a bunch. Of, I think he played a bunch of Maine. Yeah. yeah. He's definitely their top VC's top performer by far. So, 210, it's not over yet for VCU. They're trying to fight back, but if they do not win this next round, they are going to be broke. Jack's money crew going to be able to buy in the next round as well if they do forfeit this round. Yeah, I think VCU, for them to claw back into this game, or for them to have a chance to claw back into this game, they need to win these remaining three rounds. 510 is still manageable, but. Anything less than that might be extremely difficult. Oh my god, sure. Oh. Finding a cheeky CT Ooh. player named Blur and towards the middle. Oh, Virus pushes Ooh. through the smoke, finds the trade. It's remedied, but 
These guys trying to gain control middle. They've got to boost up. Actually, aware has been boosted up. And uh, mid control now is there. Vent's been broken. And these players struggling to make their way back on their positions towards B site. See if Luhar and Sieges can hold this off. Yeah, they have two players towards the B site. Good utility so far, as it's going to allow their third player to come in. And actually, they're going to counter boost back up the vent and gonna go towards A. So it's not a bad idea here, but AKA the virus inside A main at this point. This could be disastrous if he plays this right. Seems they're just gonna do a retake, should be in Cooper. They do hear the shots, but I don't think they know they don't know exactly where virus is, and that's gonna pay off, but Artinio get taken down to 44. Where is close by as well? He's actually coming from highway. They need to deal with this quad player. That's gonna be a need to do it. It's planned for safe, and he's got a kit. Aware needs to press on, there's no way he's gonna get that. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's an easy win. Ooh, and he kill. denies the op. Three to ten. It's gonna be the third round, and but all these rounds that we see have been winning. It's really with really low numbers here. Last one was a good one, but the other one with two alive as well. I was gonna say that. I was gonna say that the adjustment that VCU needs to make here is they need to play triple towards mid, because Jack's uh, Jack's yeah, yeah. has been taking mid every single round. They need to shut that down that way. Don't give them so much space to work the map. So. Yeah, what I was going to say was that previous round, both teams trumped each other back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Look at this oh. though. Towards A, Blur lines it up, but... Oh wait, what? Oh. He cooks two! And Chaz actually finds a kill, and he's actually get shut down by Blooper. And down to 2v2 just like that within, what, five, six seconds of that exchange? Oh god, the bomb, gonna get picked up here and should go down right away. Oh, but look at VCU, they're so aggressive on this retake. And see, just he might be able to find an unsuspecting player at this point as Blooper. I don't think he even thinks that this is a possibility. As Luhar is going to jump straight on top of the on top of the red box, but he's not going to look down below yet. As he is, and he's going to take down Phalanx. It's all down to Blooper. Left one to one v two, able to find the first one. And oh, he's going to try to play green around Rosie, but oh, he takes down Luhar as well. Big clutch. He's going to make it eleven to three. And the money on VCU. I hate to say it, man. I really hate to say it, but it was Luhar. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, somebody's got to be the bad cop here. Like, look <laughs> at the scoreboard. Sieges and Luhar are tied for, you know, 4 and 13. And this hurts. It's now the last round. They've got a force that they've got two rifles. And not exactly a lot of utility to work with him. Oh my god, Virus still got that kill. Dear god. <laughs> Trying to pick up that gun. But it's not going to be able to get it. The rest of Jack's money crew, though, towards the B main area. As yeah, they're going to actually start regrouping. They're going to reset a little bit. Ooh. I don't know if you saw that little tag, but. <laughs> it did like six damage. Yeah. <laughs> and AK the Virus is going to try to walk through the smoke, but it's not going to work this time. As Jack's money crew, they're gonna take middle control here. And you know, like I said, I mentioned this before. If VCU actually did middle control with more than one player, like more than just AK the virus, then you know, I think these rounds would be much easier. And I mean, I understand AK the virus is a really good player, but sometimes you actually need to be like two or three players towards middle, not just one. Yeah, just can't just be down to him, right? Yeah. What? A really slow round. But it's the last one in this first half, and three players towards B, and looking like a B commitment. <laughs> Luhar finding a very crucial kill. Chaz gets him another, he finds a third, second as well. And now it's just down to Artinio, and that might just be the last round that's salvaged for VCU. Yeah, I think uh, Luhar heard what you said on the stream, so he just <laughs> got a 1D. I think he D, was doing so. the Deagle thing as well on the yeah. previous map. So. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, his deagle's been pretty good so far. Yeah. Like, all the kills I see him get with the deagle, so... just deag and drop for his teammates. Just drop for virus. So let him buy <laughs> every round. 
But, uh, no, 11 4 half. Did we see it? I didn't. Did you? Uh, <laughs> I definitely I'm, didn't. I'm actually not that surprised, because I, I actually think VCU's T side's actually going to be pretty good here, too. So, they just need to get this pistol around, though. If they get this pistol around, I think this will be a close match. But, if not, then I think it's probably over. All right, looking at the equipment by VCU, we've got three players, four players with Kevlar, followed by a smoke and a flashbang for Sieges. And Nate here for aware, followed by a defusal kit. Oh, similar strat to Jack's Money Crew, what they've done on pistol. Mm -hmm. Okay, the bot's gonna try to fight towards middle, trying to. Get this player white box, but it looks like the rest of the T is working towards B here. And do they clear back checker? No, they do not. That's Artinio finding two one taps, and AK the virus should be able to take him down oh here. But God. oh, that was close. But it's equalized out. Virus. Oh, good night, sweet prince. <laughs> <laughs> out comes aware. This is oh the shot, but Luhar finds two, and Schubert now full HP. Luhar just needs a headshot. I'll take back everything. Ooh. Oh my god. Like, it's... Regardless of the score that we see, the kills, the trades are happening so fast, or just, it's so fun to watch. I'm, I'm glad these two teams are, are duking out against each other, but... It's like, was it a 16-7? Is it a 4-12 game? You know what I mean? <laughs> I think in this situation, it's much more of a 4-12 game than uh, yeah, it's the 16-7 yeah, one. Yeah. yeah, you're right. My god. But that was the pistol that VCU needed, and now they don't that they don't have it, I think Jack's Money Crew is on their way to getting this map pretty convincingly, I'd feel. Yeah, it just looks like they want to make their way towards a main and blooper! He's actually on the fence! And he shuts down two, followed by Schubert to pick up two as well, and Chaz tagged down. Doesn't manage to get some damage down to blooper, but Artinio's gonna clean that man up, and that makes it 4 to 13. Now, there was a bomb plant. It's by situation. It's gonna be AKs across the board. And VCU, they're gonna be able to buy again, but like. They're going to be OT type of situation, right? Yeah. It's going to be really tough, especially next round as well. Like, if they lose this, and there's going to be 414. They're going to be on 24 bonus, too. So, it's going to be a really tough call. So, this round is really important for them. Oh my god. The answer, though, Virus finds two kills. And I liked what Schubert and Ware tried to do, but. Only managed to find Luhar. And I feel like it's it's like Luhar's like, okay, dude, virus, I'm just gonna run out first and you just get all the kills. And that's what happened. But look at this towards B main and exchanges blur finds the best of uh Artinio. And now blooper in a 1v3. Didn't just get like that. Down. Like yep. fast play by VCU. But do you slow it down? Well, to be fair, that round wasn't really super fast. It was more so that Jack's Money Crew brought it to them, right? Because just because they tried mm -hmm. the counter boost, aka the virus took him down, and then a player pushed B main, got punished by Shaz. So, you know, I think that you know, getting that first gun round for VC is gonna be big, and that was pretty convincing too. So, since they got that gun round, I wouldn't be surprised to see this this map go a little bit further. And. Some tags is a stack towards B site, and these guys are boosting over, establishing them in control. I like that they're not running out somewhere. Yeah, when you do that, I don't think you can you can really afford to do that when you're it's five to thirteen. It's just so scary to do something like that. Yeah, agreed. And see, VC, you don't want to take a huge risk here. They're going to establish that in control. That's gonna force uh, Jack's money crew to push some angles and Jazz. Definitely not gonna lose that, that, that duel. Phalanx able to pick up one kill, and a second kill for Jazz. An A site. They should realize it's open, but actually, no, they're not gonna be able to know that. So they're gonna have to they should check everything. Yes, they will. So, bombs will go down on A site. Got three players with upgraded pistols. Chance. Spots 
that's one. Holding the highway position. And so you just should be able to get this kill. Oh, it gets dinked down to seven. And down to blooper and a 1v4. He could do some economic damage. And, oh my god, he... Oh, oh. no. That... Uh, I hate when that happens. <laughs> I've done it before. I used to do that. But like... Oh, come on, man. Then I guess he's kind of nervous. I don't know. Well, I mean, it's P250. I think um, yeah. before the nerf, before the P250 nerf, that would have been a kill. But what can you do? Yeah. I missed it when it sounded like a paper shredder. It was like so <laughs> I know. I actually, I actually <laughs> like the sound. Yeah, that yeah one. same here. <laughs> but still, Galil going to survive into the next round. And, and look, Jack's money crew, a double op, Mahone. Where are these ops here? Where's got one? He's actually towards middle. Schubert with the other. And he is actually on A. Yeah. And hopefully VCU don't fall into the same trap as last time. And uh, hopefully they can use more of their utility to push these oppers back. But Shaz, he's actually already in checker and he's actually going to take down by Artinio. And it's looking grim for VCU at this point. Kind of split apart in aware continuing his reign after finding virus he's now found luhar as well blur on the other side as see just now all by himself oh, there he is. oh my god so wow. the double op is good aware's got a 3k followed by schubert with one himself so the ops got four kills that round mm -hmm. and uh we're seeing a little bit of a flashback from the first map. Yeah, uh, what I would do here, so if I was Virginia Commonwealth, is maybe try to take something fast. Uh, they already saw that there was an op towards A. So maybe if they go fast towards A, maybe throw the right flashes, they could maybe uh, be able to take him down, especially since he can't. It's not like he can kill everybody instantly. They just need to be able to trade and have right spacing. But it looks like they're going to go towards B instead. And this is looking promising, but Phalanx here with the 3k, almost the 4k, but. It's all down to Siege just here and aware he's already in headshot, so this is pretty much a loss round. Yeah. I like I like what they tried, but it didn't work out. Player just coming to checker. <laughs> yeah. Like I was okay, I, I thought they're gonna set for okay, smoke heaven, smoke tree, Molly Sight, mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. That would have been that, really that good, yeah. Like, yeah, but now it's match point. The double off Jack's money crew are taking, um, potentially taking this map. Yeah, if this ends up being 16 6 or 16 7, I have to say this is definitely much more of a 16 6, 16 7. I think Jack's money crew have, have had the edge pretty much all throughout this entire match so far. And what's the, the third map? Sorry. It is. I'll find it. You continue. Yep. And as we see, Schubert, he's going to be. Uh, he's Overpass. lonely now, but. Oh, what was it? Overpass. Oh, God. I, I think you can go either way on Overpass, actually. Yep. Yeah, you're definitely, definitely right. So it could, could be a really good decider here. Four Deagles and a Dream. A match point. Will this be the end here? For Virginia Ooh. Commonwealth. Nice start on to Schubert. Oh my oh, god, oh, Virus oh. gonna find a 1D. Looking oh. for Sword gets a third kill. But now it just downs Artino in aware. Luhar gonna find another Digo kill as well. It's all down to where he's in aiming, but look at where the bomb is. It's actually inside Squeaky, so this is very doable here. It's aware. He hears this player Squeaky. Might be able to find him, and he does, but does he expect no. to play inside? And he actually knows comes from two. <laughs> oh my god. A 4k. For aware. Okay. <laughs> so this is obviously gonna go to a third map and it's gonna